This question's from May 2006, but you'll find one of these on virtually, well, one in two C1 exams, so there's one of these every year at some point. Uh, this says the equation x squared plus 2px plus 3p plus 4 equals 0, where p is a positive constant, has equal roots. We're going to find the value of p, and for this value of p, we're going to solve the equation equals 0. Uh, okay, first thing to do then is to realise that if they're saying that this thing has equal roots, that's the same as saying the discriminant equals zero. Read this stuff in the table above if you can't, if you don't know this. But basically, they're saying b squared minus 4ac equals zero. Equal roots, discriminant is zero. So b squared minus 4ac equals zero. And now all we have to do is put in the values from this equation. Now b is 2p, so 2p squared. I'm going to put that in brackets to make sure that I square it properly. It's not just 2p squared, it's going to be 2p all squared minus 4. A is 1. I'll put that in a bracket just for the you know, just for completion's sake. And C is this, 3p plus 4. So that whole thing equals 0. And now all we've got to do is sort that out and solve it for p. And it should be a quadratic in p. Now, that lot equals 0. So let's multiply all this out and see what we get. 2p all squared is 4p squared. Be careful with that. So we've got 4p squared. And this becomes minus 4 times 3p is minus 12p. And minus 4 times 4 is minus 16. And that is 0. Uh, the easiest way to solve this equation is to divide the whole thing by 4. Notice that 4 is a common factor of everything, so we can divide everything by 4. So we get p squared minus 3p minus 4 equals 0. And we should be able to factorise this. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to make minus 4 and add to make minus 3. Well, minus 4 and 1. Minus 4 and plus 1. p minus 4 uh, times p plus 1. Oh, the numbers that fit the bill. Two numbers multiply to make the minus 4 and add together to make minus 3. And that means that p is 4 or p is minus 1. Now here, p is a positive constant. The clue is in the question. It's a positive number. So the solution is p equals 4, not minus 1. So that's part A done. Part B says find the... So solve, solve this equation now, so basically put the value of p equals 4 in, we'll get the equation that we're trying to solve is x squared plus 8x, p is 4 remember, so x squared plus 8x, and if p is 4 this is 16, plus 16 equals 0, and again we should be able to factorise that easily, uh, two numbers multiply to make 16, add to make 8, 4 and 4 are the two numbers, so we get x add 4, all squared, and so we get one solution, and that is x equals minus 4. Now, we expect only one solution, because the question does say quite clearly on the first line, I've underlined it, the has equal roots. So if we get more than one solution, something's gone wrong, but x equals minus 4. That whole question's worth 6 marks. Now, sometimes you'll get questions where you have to show that blah, 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 where something has two roots. Uh, if it has dif distinct real roots or two different real roots, same means the same thing, then basically b squared minus 4ac is now positive and you might end up with an inequality at the end of all of this. We're going to look at inequalities later. Uh, if it says it has no real roots, then b squared minus 4ac is negative and you'll get an inequality, uh, same, solving inequality.